Today is Wednesday, April 25th, 2018. Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. And this is our recap of Survivor Ghost Island, Week 9, Episode 10. This week's title is, It's Like the Perfect Crime. And it feels like they cheated a little. They used probes to said it. it. Yeah. So he ends up saying that at <laughs> Tribal Council. We kept going, they haven't said it yet. They haven't said the title yet. And then, and then he busts it out. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's happened before, but... It does feel, I don't know, it just feels wrong. You're supposed to have one of the castaways. Oh, I see. Have the tagline for I the see. title. I see. We have rules. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Stacy does. Okay. Previously on Survivor, it's a unified Navidi with a plan of attack. They're going to split the votes between Michael and Libby. Michael plays the now empowered stick idol, and Libby goes. Okay. Really straightforward. Okay. And they start out talking about food. And I guess it's worth pointing out that we didn't get an after tribal council. No. It started the next morning, on the morning of day 26. Yep. It's a two-day cycle with this episode, yeah. so 26, 27 Seven. only. Mm-hmm. Yep, Dominic wants to tell Laurel about his dream. He says, remind me to tell you about my dream, and then proceeds to tell her about his dream. <laughs> Something about cooking sandwiches, and who was it, Martin sandwiches? Sheen? Sandwiches. Martin Sheen was making making them sandwiches. Is that who it was? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I think he said Charlie Sheen's dad. I don't know. Anyway, it was all goofy at that point. But, yeah, they're all dealing with hunger issues for sure. And Desiree tells us she knows about hunger. She experienced it firsthand when she was homeless. So that's <laughs> that's a real-life <laughs> knowledge well, right there. Yeah, they could throw her back into a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Then she tells us, and the Malolo tribe, that she is on the bottom of Navidi, and she is ready to make a move against them. So you think, that, like you just said, the juxtaposition of these events were critical for this to happen? Mm. Being that hungry through her back to when she was homeless and didn't have enough money for food, and that makes you feel desperate. She's feeling desperate. She decides she's on the bottom, so she reaches out to the minority alliance to say, hey... Um i got to rescue myself from this position. I think she's probably been planning this for a while. I think she's probably known she's on the bottom and known that she's got to make a move at some point if she wants to win, or at least... You don't think it was spontaneous. There was a good extra video last week where she was talking about how much she related to Donathan, and so she's been feeling that bond with him. Right, how they both came from small town environments and they weren't like the the model Libby jet setting around and with different homes in different parts of the country or Michael and all his A list friends he's making out in Hollywood. Mm. Right? And that's basically what she said. She just couldn't relate to those two for sure. But she related to Donathan, so there's a connection to Donathan that might have led her into it. Maybe that was part of the plan. Well, it did know, seem to come out of left field, though, even though we, we knew it was coming because of the next time Survivor. A lot of survivor. people seem to have a connection with Donathan. Yeah. We hear that often in the... Uh, yep. And Donathan says he's very connected to Angela. Yeah, that was. Yeah, we thought he was going to reciprocate in his extra video and talk about Desiree, but no, it was Angela. Yeah, yeah. and how much you know she's she reminds him so much of his mom, and yeah, you know, for him out there, she's kind of the mom. Yeah, we it's certainly a reminder. We we all see things from our branch in the tree. So well, and he said though from everyone. that he felt more loyal and close to her over anyone else. Yeah, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Yes, it was to me. I was like, oh. Okay, I so we're, that was we're a little on a tangent. Okay. But there was a connection to Desiree. Oh, we got off of it. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe that's what led her to feel comfortable enough to breach the subject at this point. But up until now, it didn't seem like there was any groundwork for it that we had been shown. Well, and she says right off the bat, I can pull in 
Angela and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Then she kind of backed off the Angela thing and just started saying Chelsea. But she said Angela and Chelsea at first. Hmm. So I wonder if they've talked about being on the bottom, the three of them. Uh, She seemed awfully certain she could. Got to think that had come up at some point, huh? Yep. I wonder if she ran it by Angela, and Angela's like, hey, don't be talking to me a bit. (laughs) We didn't really hear much from her about anything uh, after Ghost Island. She she may have peaked last week, but we'll see. And they want to target Callan first, Mm -hmm. then Dom and Wendell. Yep. Okay. Laurel is, is troubled. She feels caught in the middle. Which way should she go? What are you thinking at this point? Laurel's our USB. Well, so it's good that she's got options. We're happy yes, for her to be in that position. But you know, she often seems to struggle so much. And uh, you know, last week she wanted to vote Wendell and Dom out. Mm-hmm. And this week she's like, "Oh, I need to go tell them somebody's trying to vote them out." So I, she seems to be so torn between what to do the windsock effect yeah. but i think they must have won over in the end so mm-hmm. all right time for a reward challenge gonna split up into two teams of five schoolyard pick one person's gonna sit out you said you knew who that was likely I knew gonna it had be. to be Donovan. <laughs> he's okay. he's even acknowledges that he probably is the weakest person in challenges out there mm-hmm Okay, so the two teams, you're going to have two people from each team are going to have to unhook their boat and then paddle to rescue their three other teammates who are tied up in these cages. And they so they got to paddle to each floating platform and then untie and let out a teammate. And then they'll get the keys and come back, and they got these great big puzzle pieces. They're going to have to solve a puzzle. And their trip is a helicopter ride. Yay. That Those alone awesome. is is, you know, would be worth it. Yep. To have a helicopter ride over the islands like that. Helicopter picnic. And the meat and cheeses and bread and brownies and drinks. Great big old brownies. Yum. They look like they make good brownies. And the winners are going to get to choose one person to go to Ghost Island. Or they'll tell them to... Draw rocks as always. Draw rocks, yeah. I don't think anybody Uh wants to upset anybody, so it's just going to be draw rocks from here on. Okay. Okay, the Orange Tribe is... Uh, Michael and Sebastian are on the boat. Chelsea, Kellen, and Jenna are in the cages on the Purple Tribe. Dom and Wendell are in the boat. And Desi, Angela, and Laurel are in the cages. So that, you know, I saw Wendell and and Laurel and thought, oh, man, you know, Dom, Wendell, and Laurel. Mm -hmm. That's, That's pretty good. Yeah, it looks like Purple should have it. But that was not to be the case. Not to be at all. <laughs> Dominic could not steer the boat. Seemed like they were having. Uh, they were Dominic and Wendell were having a lot of trouble paddling. Yeah. Well, Michael was smart enough right off the bat to grab a hold of something and hold the boat over there. Mm-hmm. So that was good on good him. Good situational awareness. Good yes, presence of mind there. Absolutely. Good Aussie move. All right. So Orange gets their last person out. Gets Jenna out. And then they're on to unlocking those puzzle pieces. They had a pretty pretty decent lead on them at that point. Yep, Michael unlocks the puzzle pieces, and they start hauling it up there, getting ready to put it together. And mm-hmm. Purple Tribe still trying to get shore. Right. Wendell eventually gets there, and they get their boat hooked up and grabs those keys and unlocks the pieces. So they're, they're a fair bit behind, but it looks like they might be catching up. Um, yeah, I think that was a, a misdirect. Okay. Because <laughs> they had, they they figured out first, though, from what they showed us, the Dominic that did, there right? were extra pieces. Yeah, he called, yeah. Dominic calls out, hey, they're decoy pieces. Yeah, I noticed Dominic was like walking around and he was like, all right, hurry up, do this, move this. I thought, you're just standing there, dude. But I guess he was looking at the puzzle pieces. Yeah, he did have good presence of mind to do that. Yes, so he did figure that out. And And then Orange did, too. Yeah, they did eventually He might have said that a little too loud. Maybe. Yeah, so Orange ends up winning. So, again, Sebastian, Jenna, Kellen, Chelsea, and Michael are going to get to go on a picnic. Picnic. And they tell them, draw rocks for the losers. And Angela gets the rock. At first, we both thought it was Laurel. 
I know. Something the way, about the way that that was shot. The maybe. angle. Yeah. It's like, oh, Laurel has, oh, Angela. Angela is going. Okay. All right. And Chelsea blows a kiss to the losers as they, <laughs> as they go on their tri- as she carries the food away, and Michael hopes to find cracks in Navidi. Yep, he says he knows he's a big target, but he wants to stir the pot, find yeah. a way to get back in the game. Well, I had him going. Hey, we had that same experience that Sebastian just talked about when he was up there in the helicopter. He said it's it's like flying into Jurassic Park. We had that too, right? Wasn't that on, oh, on yeah, Maui? Yeah. Was it Ma- No, it was Kauai. No, it was Kauai. Yeah, it was on Kauai, and where they had actually filmed some of it. There was a good reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but you oh, definitely yeah, that got, was awesome in there. got that experience for sure. Yeah, yeah, it took me back to that. All right, let's make a sandwich as big as your head. That reminded me of Cat Head Biscuits. Cat Head Biscuits? Yeah. Don't you remember Cat Head Biscuits? No. As big as a cat's head? Well, Kellen evidently makes a sandwich as big as her head. Okay. That's what they pointed out. <laughs> Michael tells us that's the best meal he's ever had. And oh, by the way, yes, I'm powerless, but I hope you see some value in me. Kellen's just thrilled. I'm a vote. Kellen's thrilled that Sebastian and who else was it? Chelsea. Chelsea just weren't. Well, you never know. Weren't biting. <laughs> weren't they, biting at all. Well, they were though. They were saying. Well, Sebastian well, said you never day by know. day. That's completely noncommittal. Well, yeah. And then that that different. made Kellen happy. But she didn't want any part. She's like, no, I want Michael out, and I want him out now. Things are going as planned. All yeah. things are looking swell for me. That's when I thought, hmm. Maybe she could go. I yeah. know. It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll just throw away wow. our JSFL plans if they can take I thought, out I CDK. will surrender all points. Yeah. <laughs> Though I can't, I can't deny she's played a good game, but I still haven't warmed up to her. No. Okay, Ghost Island. Angela's anxious, and it looks good in the beginning. Tells her game on. Game on. She plays the game of chance, and uh, wah, wah. two of them hold powers. Just like last time. Two out of three chance to yep. get something good. And Yeah, she gets the 33% instead of the 66.6 repeating. And I was thinking, oh, man, if that plays a big part in tonight's vote. Oh, that she's not going to get a vote? Yeah. It, yeah. Di- it didn't really. <laughs> no. didn't work out that way, no. but oh, well. All right. Bummer again on Ghost Island. It's a bust. Back at camp. Donathan asked Laura what she thinks about, uh, you know, what was brought up and that mm-hmm. he's open to he's getting open rid to of He's open to Desiree's one plan. Yep. 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 And Laura, she's not sure she is. No. Nope. Safer with Dom. So she goes and tells Dom. Now it's time for our USB to rat out Desiree. I was I was definitely conflicted at this point. Yeah, me too. I was thinking, oh shoot, is she gonna go? Yeah, like we talked about when we were discussing next time on Survivor in the recap last week. It 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 could have gone either way. I think in this situation, it could not have ended well for her. Well, so. I wasn't as surprised by that as I was Dominic going to Kellen. Telling her, and she didn't believe it at all. Yeah. She's like, oh, no, I don't believe that. They've been with me since day one. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That can't happen. No. Can I talk about that power of trust hmm. and the importance of building the relationship again? That's it in action yep. right there. Yeah. She's like, nope, that's just them trying their best to get the target off of Michael. That's all that is. My girls will not betray me. So I wonder what changed her mind. But Dom tells us that some of these Navidi girls... The weaker players are trying to go against the family, <laughs> and they must pay. So, yeah, he goes to have that discussion with Kellen. Okay, day 27, Michael, Donathan, and Laurel are sitting there and watching Navidi huddle together mm-hmm. and discuss private things. <laughs> They did not even share with us, yeah. so we don't know what was said either. But uh, Laurel tells Michael, if you have an idol, this would be another one, then it, this would be a good time to use it. But Michael says, well, I don't have one, but there probably is one here. Yep. Want to help me look, Which Donathan? Which you figured. Donathan's like, yeah. I'll search Yes, I two. did mention that possibility you last did, time. You did, and I, I didn't believe they would. told how unlikely that might be. Yeah, I thought it was. But again, and Michael I rightly was wrong. tells us because he learned his lesson from sharing all the details of his first idol that he's not so keen on sharing, but he's hoping for some help. So 
So I guess he he was okay with a little bit of the you're searching for an idol shade landed on Donathan while he was looking too. Yep, and uh, didn't Donathan, go as planned for Michael though. No, and Donathan found the clue. That was good. I like how they cut it. I like how they did the edit. It was suspenseful. Mm-hmm. Which one's got it? Oh, he's got it. The music's rising. And no, he doesn't. And now, yeah, now Donathan and finds it's it. Donathan. So. But All right, only so the, with the clue, not the idol. Yeah, well, the soup, two halves of the super idol. Did you think he'd made a mistake when he told Laurel, Jenna, and Michael where it was? The second half is under the, the shelter there. Yeah. yeah. Ties half of the super idol. Did I think I, he made a mistake? I guess he wasn't afraid they'd think, try to get it. Yeah. Take I, it from him. No, he just desperately wanted some help. he had one half. Was I, it? Any good on it. I remember wondering, like, why can't you be just a little more patient? Nobody else knows. That thing's that that's so low that I don't think people are going to be digging around in there anyway. But it worked out for the best, and he ended up pulling it out, even though he had enlisted some help. And it looked like Jenna might have been significant in her uh, ability to pull Dominic away. Well, if nothing else, the... The other three could block what he was doing over there mm-hmm. just by sitting yeah, it's, up. It's or... kind of hard for that many people to look inconspicuous, though. I mean, one person might can, but when you try to pull it off as a group. Yeah, but they're sitting on their shelter. Yeah, perhaps. In any case, Donathan is able to retrieve the second half Yay. from underneath there. Yep. And now Donathan has an idol, too. He tells us he is locked and loaded, ready to go. Now... My question was, would he play it for Michael? Yeah, it's a good question to have at this point. Time for the community challenge. It's one we've seen before. we got two posts, ropes connected to the post, and the other end of those two ropes are tied off on a disc. And then you got two more ropes that each castaway has to hold. And then on top of the disc is like a... Um, Pool, pool ball, just a ball there that'll roll around quite easily. And you got to maintain the balance. you got to do it for a certain amount of time. And then after that time elapsed, you got to move further back. And they get you into one of those positions where you're on a lean. Yeah, not and much time for this group because most of probes, them are out in two minutes. <laughs> probes tells us they never had any, a, a group of people go out so quick on this challenge. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so Wendell's out, Jenna's out, Dez is out, Laurel's out, Angela's out. Michael saved it. Uh, that was all in the first minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's kind of funny. Donathan's out. Chelsea's looking rock solid. Dominic's out. Seven out of the 11 are out, and that's under two minutes. So Somebody ought to be afraid of it. Chelsea. This is her second win, right? Chelsea, Sebastian, Kellen, and Michael are fighting it out. The last four, Sebastian recovers, and then Michael drops out. So now Michael is vulnerable. Kellen, Sebastian, and Chelsea make it to the 10 minute mark. That's the first round. So they go farther back in this round, supposed to the last. But this, this second round can potentially last for 15 minutes as they they got more rope and it's harder to keep that little disc with the ball rolling well, around. Well, Chelsea on looks it so comfortable, you know, she just lay back into it. Yeah, they, uh, Chelsea and Sebastian had a little bit of movement and then Kellen, but they stabilize and then kellen goes out now it's sebastian versus chelsea sebastian saves and uh probes notes that chelsea's shaking and i was really i was hoping here because you had who to go home chelsea again <laughs> because, because my picks rolled <laughs> yes as the system was designed make your picks. i didn't put any new fresh picks in so yeah but chelsea uh she stabilizes you know if you do that three consecutive weeks in a row that the, the uh, system will drop you from the game drop you that's from right the game. and so sebastian eventually drops after saving one two three more times and now he's out chelsea wins probes tells us it's the third woman in a row to win and chelsea is safe tonight so it's been kellen angela and now chelsea have won individual immunity to answer your question yep this dominic tells up. us the goats are coming with an alliance, and it may not be Michael tonight. May have to do something about these rowdy goats. And then Desi sit, tells us, all right, Kellen lost. Now it's time to put my plan into effect. 
Mm-hmm. She has to go. She is the she biggest She was all threat. excited. I think Desiree's spot on. She's definitely got uh, uh, the right target to focus on. Oh, yeah. And it, it's another example of how I think the women are playing a better overall game, too, because she's more aware of where these threats are. Wendell and Dominic are, like, way out front threats, but the, really, the more subtle threats are coming from the women this time. Well, and it seemed like uh, when Dominic and Kellen were kind of going at it that uh, maybe Kellen's kind of been the spokesperson for the group of girls. Mm-hmm. You know, for Desi and Angela and Chelsea. Chelsea. Uh-huh. Although, I don't think they any might, of those women would have any time, any problem speaking up. Nope. So, yeah. But Desi... Mm. But Dominic has a must have the connection more with Kellen. I think that's mm-hmm. probably what a re- reflection... Well, they're obviously... Of the rela- relationships. So. Uh, got an alliance, but I don't know how far they're planning to take that so, so kellen's i think you were about to talk about it there kellen is uh and when they get back she's talking to desiree and chelsea asking about what happened yesterday and uh she tells us that dominic's panicked before and that's all that happened he's just paranoid we're going to ignore him and he's got a problem with being paranoid they evidently. they play you know completely dumb they don't know what she's talking about and she tells us how She's trusted her gut and got her this far in the game. She's going to trust her gut. So after that conversation with Kellen and Chelsea, Desiree decides she's going to have to confront Laurel. She first starts off saying, hey, you screwed up the plan. But when Wendell comes walking by, she flips the script a little and says, you know, not trying to throw your name under the bus, but don't do that to me either. I didn't say what you said, what you're going around saying. So did she not think the rest of the Malolo tribe would back Laurel up? Did she think they'd leave she's that coming, door open? She's or? coming fresh off a conversation where Kellen had just told her, Dominic is paranoid, he's got these issues, and somehow he thinks that you two, who we've been together solid... From day one. From day one, are turning on me, even though... She was with Chelsea at the reward at the picnic. Mm-hmm. So uh, she said that would have to be just a heinous betrayal by Chelsea. That There's she no was with way her. she could have yeah. betrayed me all day like Perpetrated that. a lie She's like, like that. Uh, yes, she so, did. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Desiree's coming fresh off that conversation. Kellen, <laughs> She's probably feeling a little empowered in her plan by Kellen's loyalty. Were you surprised at how emotional Lauren got? She was like Laurel? on the edge. Of Laurel. Mm-hmm. was on the edge of tears. I think Desiree really caught her off guard. So yep. it was a it was a blitz attack Felt because attacked, yeah. yeah, when Wendell came up. Now, you don't get to be a rat and not suffer the consequences. I'm saying that about my USB. <laughs> so you you're the one who opened this can of worms. You opened the door and Desiree just walked <laughs> right through it and got in your face. So if you didn't anticipate something like this happening, when you're running around ratting on her, then that's on you. So yeah, it did. It did overwhelm her, though. Yep, they were both just playing their own game, just not together. So Laurel <laughs> tells us that yeah, this whole thing's blowing up on me, and she tries to go talk to Dom, but Desiree is right. She's Johnny on the spot. She gets in between those two, and says her piece. Yeah, but that was very erratic behavior. Dominic tells us, yes, Desiree is very erratic. So he he was picking up on all that. That was good. Yeah. And that wasn't the Desiree that we've been shown. It truly did look erratic. So. Well, and her saying, a Malolo's going, right? Okay, enough said. That's it. And she didn't done. have a conversation. Yet. Yeah, she a didn't have tirade. a conversation. Yeah. She wasn't there with a, to have an exchange with Dominic. Well, I like that Dominic just stood there and observed. Yeah, I don't know that he had any choice, but yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah. At least he did. His he awareness seems like he uh, was just up. sits back and observes, even when uh, you know. Next, as Kellen gets in his face a little bit. What about this next exchange where Dominic then goes off to have a conversation oh, with, with Michael? Michael. Yeah. yeah, it's like, hey, it's time for the strong to get together. We need to commit to something. We can't trust Navidi. Well, Michael's going, hey, this looks I'm good. open to anything. I think those seven are broken now. <laughs> so, so, yeah, he's you know he's desperate. It's like, oh, yeah. What isn't Michael going to say yes to? If it gets him one more day in the game, why wouldn't he? 
So maybe they really were making that play because huh? it gets reinforced with the conversation that occurs between Kellen and Dominic. Mm-hmm. Well, and I liked it that Jenna backed Laurel's story with Kellen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. but again, she's going to expect that. I there's don't no, know. There's no trust there. I guess she could think the four of them were just saying that because they wanted to take the heat off Michael, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty solid plan. So they're doing a full court press. Everybody's coming. And so they're trying to get Kellen Rock back on her heels, but she tells us, nah, this isn't the time. This isn't the time. She's trusting her gut. And Desi just keeps telling her, it's not true. Right. I thought she did a good job. Seemed to, from what right we were shown. To maybe toward the end, but yeah. as she, I, not so much with Dominic, okay, now, but now with the, Kellen. Re- the really important conversation here between Dominic and Kellen that we alluded to earlier. Well, and Kellen tells us first that she does not believe it's time to break up Navidi. Mm-hmm. Now, were you surprised when she said to Dominic that the girls have folded to you boys all this time but now we want michael out now yeah i was like whoa interesting yeah she she Mm. definitely came she came hard this time you folded to the boys Mm -hmm. all this time you've allowed them implication you you owe me you owe me because i followed along with what we allowed you you to choose we folded i liked watching dominic's reaction he didn't do so well with this part He's like, hmm, hmm. His arms are crossed, and he's just like supposedly sipping from his coffee. Better than saying filler words when you don't know what to say. It is filler words. He didn't know what to say. Well, no, they weren't words. They were hmm. (laughs) Yeah, it's filler. Hmm, hmm. It it looked all contrived and staged. That's what you and I were thinking when we were watching it. It's like that doesn't. That looks like it. That didn't happen. Like they had them reenact that part, and they reenacted poorly. Yeah, it's you know I could I could see him thinking, take a deep breath, Kellen, take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she called him out. She she said that they it looks the appearance is that there's a guys alliance building. Now you're all buddy oh, yeah. buddy with you're Michael. All, you're out there buddy buddy with Michael. How do you think that mm-hmm. looks to us? Yeah. I agree. She's she's rope. She's uh, giving him the one-two punch. It's she's, not like you're sneaking off to yeah to hedge your bets. They're watching. So how did he convince her? They do not show us. They they've, don't. They've done a good job of not showing us. A- again, those important it's it's either something that's left out or it's something that happened at tribal council. And either way, it did not get shown. Well, I'm really good with him not showing us at this point in the episode Mm -hmm. but it'd be nice you know like when they come back from tribal council that they would give us a little closure closure little little to help us understand like yep yep i'm glad you said me tribal council night 27 into this two-day cycle the two models enter the jury that was what i thought when they came walking in here come the two models i thought oh what a pretty couple they make (laughs) uh they look, they look pretty with their blonde hair. Probes asks Donathan if he's feeling the pressure, and Donathan takes advantage of that opportunity. He says, bam, it was lit and ready to go. Desiree <laughs> kicked it off back at camp today. Fireworks. Probes tells us fireworks is a big word. Well, <laughs> he's, he's, oh. well but Donathan said something to do Debbie with drama Laurel. Debbie there. What's that? He said something to do with Laurel. Donathan? No, he said Desiree. He pointed the finger at Desiree for I know, but he said Desi lit today something to do with Laurel. He didn't he didn't tell the whole story right then. Mm, okay. Because Probst went to Laurel, you know, and and uh, Laurel said, you know, she yelled at me in front of everybody. Desi jumps on it. She says that she had to she had to talk to Laurel because uh, Laurel was caught in a lie. And they're still lying. Laurel tells his Desi this line. Yep, Jonathan's jumping in. I back that up. Desiree says, never said it. I I think what must have happened is she folded or she got caught on something in the lie in tribal council. Just because of the way this all played out. Well, the Malolo, old Malolo tribe, they all backed it up. 
Of course. So, and I really do think Dom and Wendell at that point would believe them. So, you know, they didn't, they could change things up regardless at that point with Six. Yeah, Michael weighed in and said that Desiree's story changed when Wendell came up. But Desiree <laughs> turned to Laurel and said, you're on the bottom. <laughs> oh. Chelsea called him out for trying to stir it up. And Laurel says, it's a cult-like society over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dom says they, got, they all got straight faces. You can't tell who's lying. Wendell's just there to second. Not He's, he's second-guessing the family, so... Now he's here to sit and listen he's and observe. He's just listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think Kellen hid very well that she was going to vote for Desi. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know what the whole... the, the What happened sh- to her gut? Yeah, well, she, it turned into Sherlock Holmes, and <laughs> but she felt more like Helen Keller uh-huh. and just was fumbling around in the dark. So, uh-huh. But somewhere she must have come into the light. I, I kind of think Dom might have worn her down. Mm. But you know, just I don't know. Jonathan, her, Jonathan told him. everyone the truth's gonna set you or free. Or maybe it was Wendell. <laughs> maybe she, Wendell's calmer. And yeah, he had a talk with her. They didn't show us Wendell talking about it at all. That's when we get our title probes tell us it's the perfect crime. She said, she said, everybody's lying. And Desi said she hopes fate is on her side, and let's vote. See this? Okay, so this, and then. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking yeah. something happened in Tribal Council. You see it? Yeah, you no, see the, I, the I dots? agree. Yeah, it's because she's like, let's vote, connect. let's vote, let's vote, let's vote, let's well, vote. Well, we know there's probably uh, two hours we don't didn't see, so yeah. <laughs> so we get our so note. yeah, we always miss stuff, but but yeah, I think they hid it. So it happened there, and she just wanted to get it over with. She was like, okay, I'm done. I'm caught. I still thought Michael was going home at that point. Yeah, it seemed, seemed thought, a well, likely possibility, Because didn't it? Kellen acted very well. She yep. did not give it away that she was suspicious of Desi yep. or Chelsea. And so, so Angela plays her no vote. Her no vote. And Donathan sits on his hidden immunity idol. He does not save anyone. What did he know? Hmm. What did he know? I, I think they know who knew who the vote was going in. Yeah. And uh, we did. We just didn't. Yeah. Two votes. I like for the. I like the, the flow. Ah, not. It was one, two, three, four for Desi. Then two for Michael. Then mm. two more. So very yeah. well done. They don't normally do it that way. Oh yeah, because when the fourth one came, it's like okay, the next one's going to tell us. Now that it's it going to flip. Came up, Michael, and yeah. it's like oh, okay, it's all Michael from here. Yeah. So I was shocked when gotcha when the yep. when it came back. Editors for, got us. Uh, Desi. Yep. I was like, oh, they don't usually do that. They flip the script on us. Mm-hmm. Desiree is out, and she tells them, ladies, y'all better keep winning. Yep. Propes wraps it up with, uh, without relationships, you can't build trust, and that's what you need at well, this point. Well, how's Chelsea feeling about now? Yeah. Because Chelsea and Desi were the only ones who voted for Michael. Or how's Kellen feeling? Well, and we don't something know changed her mind. Angela was because yeah. she didn't get to vote. She didn't vote, so. yeah. So we don't know what side of the fit she's on yep. either. So, but uh, that was exciting. I I really didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. I just had told myself I thought about putting her earlier in the week, and I thought, sure, nah, obvious to consider. I think that's just a red herring. That's not going to pan out. They're mm-hmm. going to stick together and get Michael out mm-hmm. first. He's a big throw by the obvious. Yep. So I just went with what I thought was the obvious <laughs> choice, but but I like it that they switched it up on. Yeah. Yeah, kept it fresh and exciting for us, didn't it? Yes. Anything else you want to say about that? I don't want to keep winning picks and make it boring for myself. I see. (laughs) No, I don't think so about the episode. That was was pretty good. Yeah, good. Now, next on. Time for double vote out, but you had a good catch right with that. I did. What did you see standing beside Probst? I saw two necklace, immunity necklaces. He tells us there's a twist. Two people are going out, but he's standing beside two immunity necklaces. Hmm. Two, 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 two. Yep. So I thought, hmm, two people going to be immune and two people going home. 
Whoa. Yep. I mean, I I knew they were going to have to do at least one double mm-hmm. elimination. Yep, you've been mentioning I, that. Yeah, we've to, been this talking week, about it. Talking about the calendar. Said, <clears throat> they're going to have to do this once or twice. Was, yeah. I wasn't sure, mm-hmm. but I was kind of trying to figure out when it would be. And, and so if it was when I thought it would be, then so if anybody knows let us know um but anyway that's they've never done that before have they what had two where they had two immunity necklaces and voted two people out at the same tribal which is what it sounded like yeah i'm not sure i i don't remember that Certainly had two necklaces before. Yes, I don't know they if that's have. coincided they've with a, a double vote off. They've had a man's necklace and a woman's necklace after the merge mm-hmm. and yep. that kind of thing. But I don't remember them doing this and voting two people out at Probst, the same tribal. Probst tells us that we're in for lots of lies and deceit. Cut to Jenna talking to Donathan. You know I love you. Mm-hmm. And then she inter- cuts her confessional. I think I fooled Donathan. He's like an idiot. What do you think yeah, of that? I thought they spliced that together. Mm-hmm. Well, it was two different scenes, but know, you're but saying thought you thought was... her words are spliced together. Yeah, like he's an idiot. Well, she clipped the word like. It was really short, so maybe that's what's throwing you. I didn't think it was necessarily... Well, I don't know. That wasn't very nice if it was. Because they don't usually... They don't normally do cheap audio edits like that. Don't be calling him an idiot. Well... You could certainly come to his defense, but I think she's got him labeled anyway. Okay, so Kellen talking to Dominic. Michael says he has an idol. Yep. And Dom's like, no, he doesn't. But we see Michael appears to be working on something, and he's got a plan that he's hoping he can pull off. Yep, and if he can pull it off, it'll be pretty sweet, he says. So So we'll see. Your first guess is he's working on a fake immunity idol. He's um, built a story around it, right? Certain that Parker is a very happy. No, oh, that he he survived unscathed this time. Feel but better, again, Parker. Well, there's he's reason. Sick. Oh, no re- audio this week. Reason to worry about Michael next oh, week on. for sure. <laughs> I don't think the pressure lets up on Parker or Michael. <laughs> okay. Anything else? What are your predictions? I, what I wanted to add is sort of the reason I thought she must have fell apart at tribal council is when they cut to her as the, the role in the credits, she said, they could tell I was lying. So, it, you know, her urgency to vote at the end and then her making the comment after she got voted out that, doggone it, they could tell I was lying. And that's that's what made me think that's Let's what they hid from us. With. Yeah, <laughs> really. Stop torturing me. Yep. And she tells us Laurel blew up her big plans. Well, hopefully we'll hear more about it in her Ponderosa video or yep. something. Or an extra clip or something. Yep. All right. How about a Jess FL update? I can do that. Eight people lost their USB. Brandon from Alabama is now in the lead with 43 points. All right. 89 people lost a safe point. And 41 people gained a vote-off point. Right. Congratulations. Yeah. In the side challenge, uh, with 40 points, Brandon's still in the lead. 39, Jeremiah and Jay Kindred. With 38, Cold Mike, James and Shannon, and Jonathan. With 37, Stacy. With 36, Parker and Randy. Hey, Parker worked his way up. And with 35, kitty cat. <laughs> All right. Keeping things contained down in the basement. <laughs> well, we're excited to hear what you thought about this episode. Certainly some interesting developments. And it was nice that it wasn't a complete pagonging, right? Yeah. I'm excited to see somebody from Navidi go. Totally works for me. Didn't didn't necessarily think it was going to be Desiree, but we're anxious to hear what you thought about the developments in this episode and how you think, you know, are, does this really spell the end for the Navidi Alliance? Are they going to shake it up? Is there hope for the original Malolos now? Certainly Donathan's got an idol, so there's some power to leverage there. Well, you would definitely think Chelsea's going to have to scramble. Free agent, perhaps. She may be able to. I don't know if she's going to be able to recover or not. Depends on how damning that 
uh, meltdown or the outing of Desiree really was if it happened in tribal council, if she managed to drag Chelsea with her or not. I think Chelsea was very fortunate being on the reward. That gave her some cover, and so she wasn't there when Desiree hatched her plan. And so some of it she can potentially dodge. It's probably going to depend on mm, if Desiree yeah. dragged her down with her or not. I don't think she's going to be able to dodge that. No? You think Chelsea's in trouble? Uh, probably. So but this she is, can talk her way out of it. It's a, a really good sequence of events in that it's not overly predetermined at this point, right? So Yeah, the, I like that. The pagonging's not likely to continue. I don't know that they'll recover and come back together after this. So we're anxious to hear what you thought about that. The voicemail line, 206-350-1547. Toll-free option, 844-643-8737. The email, Show at gmail.com. You can record your own and send it in. Send it to the email. If you're not comfortable with your voice in the podcast, write it up. Send it in an email or either Joanne or I will read it into that episode for you. That's a listener feedback show. Feedback's due. The deadline is Saturday at noon. It's always great if you can get it in early. Keep it in that three-minute range, whether you write it or record it. Anything else you'd like to have? No, I think we'll we'll probably... uh once we get to see the other clips, we'll have a look. we'll know what we think about next episode more in the listener feedback show. Okay, sounds good. Have a good one.